What's going on dudes? It's old Drucifer back with some more goddamn metal for your asses. And this one, I felt like, was a good enough question that was put to me in my last viewer response video that it actually could take up enough space for its own fucking video. So here I am, going over just a single question from Alters of Madness. If you guys are not familiar with Alters of Madness, I've mentioned him before on the channel. He's from the UK. He does, you know, a similar style of content like I do. We get albums that we love. We fucking... You know, enjoy talking about him. Uh, he's a fountain of fucking knowledge on the shit that he's interested in. I think he makes really good content, man. If you've not checked him out, go check him out. I'll put a link to his uh, channel down below. But he uh, gave a question here that, again, I just I thought was really fucking good. And he says, I'll read it verbatim. You may have answered this before, but as you're somewhat of a war metal connoisseur, what is your Mount Rushmore of war metal, both bands and albums? Cheers. Thanks, a really good fucking question, man. I'd honestly never thought about it before. I'd never done one of these Mount Rushmore things. Um, and it had me kind of thinking about it today. <clears throat> what exactly, when someone answers that question, what their Mount Rushmore of whatever it is, is it just, what is the Mount Rushmore of, like, the classics, the greats, the stuff that is, like, the big influencers? And obviously, Mount Rushmore being, you know, the fucking American presidents that, I guess... Whoever was in charge of all that shit decided, well, these are the most influential. I know it's fucking Thomas Jefferson and George Washington kind of makes sense, but then you throw up fucking Teddy Roosevelt and, you know, Abraham Lincoln. So I guess it was really just, I don't know exactly how those were chosen, but what I would say for metal is the, the ones that would make the Mount Rushmore aren't necessarily even my favorites. I guess I would just see it as, like, what are the fucking classics, the big influencers, the big names, the ones that have had the biggest impact on the genre because when I think of my personal favorite war metal bands especially when you start narrowing it down it would be bands that are more modern it would be bands like Death Worship uh, Antichrist Siege Machine I think is fucking phenomenal uh, Blood Chalice who I mention all the time on the channel but again for those three it's really hard for me to say that that is Mount Rushmore worthy though because I think to get that sort of status that is reserved for the classics like, if you were to say, what what is, you know, the, the Mount Rushmore of heavy metal? It would be bizarre to throw in any sort of modern band, because it almost seems like a slap in the face to, you know, Black Sabbath, Judas Priest, you know, Iron Maiden even, uh, you know, whatever your classic, you know, Mount Rushmore for, like, maybe traditional metal would be. It seems hard to say anything newer, so I, it's hard for me to put Blood Chalice or any Christ Siege Machine or Death Worship or anything like that up on my... Mount Rushmore. So I'm going to go with my definition for, or my picks or whatever. I'm going to go for what I think is just the, the biggest influencers, the classics, and also stuff that I do really enjoy. Uh, so I guess if you're going to start, and these are in no particular order, these are like the god tier influencers. Obviously, number one, what has to be on your Mount Rushmore for fucking war metal has to be blasphemy. Blasphemy has to be on there somewhere. So if we look at it as a picture, we're going to stick Blasphemy up there. As for my favorite, uh, you said bands and albums, my favorite release by Blasphemy is Blood Upon the Altar. I think what Blood Upon the Altar did was took a lot of the stuff, you know, like Sarcophago, I've mentioned this stuff before, you know, Sarcophago, Volcano, a lot of the black metal stuff, took a lot of that, you know, a lot of that atmosphere, that vibe, that darkness, and combined it with the heaviness Really, not just of death metal, but almost fucking grindcore. It just added out so much more bottom end punch to it and aggression to the music that just was, you know, kind of lacking. There was all sorts of stuff you could see at the time that, you know, you could see where all the pieces were there, but they had not really been correctly put together yet for what we would come to call bestial war metal, militant black metal, uh, any of that stuff. So, yeah, Blasphemy has to be up there. For me, it's Blood Upon the Altar, hands down. I do really enjoy Gods of War, uh, and a third would be Fallen Angel of Doom. I know Fallen Angel of Doom is apparently everybody's go-to except for me. Fallen Angel of Doom is a pretty, I would say, a, a pretty distant third for me in terms of what I repeatedly go back and uh, jam over, over and over. Blood Upon the Altar is far and away number one for me. Number two, Black Witchery. Three, I think, would have to be up there because... While they are in that vein of Blasphemy, what Blasphemy started, they kind of just tacked on more fucking aggression to it. It's uh, the impact of it 
is more in your face and just it's like blasphemy turned up in all the right areas uh, it's, I, I just think it's fucking phenomenal as for releases I, it's hard for me to narrow down exactly what my favorite is it could be inferno of sacred destruction desecration of the holy kingdom i i have mentioned it on that last video this is what they did with conqueror uh, hellstorm of evil vengeance that thing was fucking great but i think if i was really to narrow it down uh, people have said tannic might is, is a good one as well i think if i were to narrow it down i would probably say my favorite one is inferno of sacred destruction Just and the third band that comes to mind when I think God tier, it's probably of my amount Rushmore. This is probably my personal favorite. I, I just find them a very enjoyable band and very unique. I did a video a couple of days ago on goat penis decapitation philosophy. I, that would be up there for me, uh, but I would accept biochem terror. I would accept inhumanization, flesh consumed in the battlefield. It, I mean, I consider Name Me Goat Penis releases, but I think the songs are such a great mix of brutal and catchy and fierce and fucking in your goddamn face. And the band sounds really unique. So, yeah, Goat Penis would be my number three, and I will go with the Capitation Philosophy for that one. And for number four, I would say Conqueror. And with Conqueror, I would just have to go with War Cult Supremacy. Uh, Conqueror just because of the impact they had. I know some people prefer Revenge to Conqueror. Revenge is one of my least favorites of the big named war metal bands. When I listen to the albums, while I do enjoy them, they get old way quicker than everything else. Like Death Worship doesn't really get old to me. Any Car Siege Machine doesn't, Blood Chalice doesn't. Even the ones I mentioned so far, Blasphemy doesn't really get old. Uh, Black Witchery doesn't really get old. Death Revenge gets old the most, and Revenge really is just a carry-on of Conqueror. So, uh, I, w I would say Conqueror, number four, War Cult Supremacy would be the album if I had to choose one. So there you go, man. Those are my picks. That's my Mount Rushmore of War Metal. Uh, to recap there, we have Blasphemy with Blood Upon the Altar. Black Witchery with Inferno of Sacred Destruction. Goat Penis with Decapitation Philosophy. And of course, Conqueror with War Cult Supremacy. There you go, guys. Let me know in the comments how I did. Be sure to go check out Altars of Madness. If you like my goddamn Mount Rushmore of fucking war metal, be sure to let me know. And also post what would be yours. Maybe there's some bands I forgot. There's so many honorable mentions. Again, Antichrist Siege Machine, Death Worship, fucking Blood Chalice. I, I, I could go on, you know, man. There's uh, so many good fucking war metal bands. But I think that's a pretty solid Mount Rushmore of fucking war metal. I think a lot of war metal guys would agree with that. The proclamation is another one that I could have been added there. Uh, you know, as I go and start thinking about it, you know, I, I know a lot of people say Arch Goat belongs up there. There's a fuckload of bands, man. But that's what I got for you. There's my four and four albums to go with it. Let me know down in the comments below, man. Thanks again for uh, to Alters of Madness for that question. It was fucking great. Be sure to go check his channel out again. It is linked down below. But that's it for this one, guys. Till the next one. Keep it goddamn heavy. Keep it fucking mean and offensive. That's the way metal's supposed to be. Blast some fucking war metal, man. Praise the goddamn Mount Rushmore of fucking Drusifer's choices of goddamn war metal. And if you happen to disagree with any of my choices, it sucks to be wrong. Because I never am. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't understand what it's like to be wrong about things on the internet. I'm only ever right. But be sure to post yours down below. And until the next one, later.